A bill titled VA Housing Loan Forever Act of 2024 was introduced by South Carolina Representative James Clyburn on June 4, 2024. This bill adds a new section to Title 38 of the United States Code. This new section creates the ability for certain veterans to transfer housing loan benefits to other legatees. Before we continue, legatee is defined as a spouse, legal child, grandchild of a legal child, or direct descendant of a veteran. Veterans eligible for this service are those that served in the armed forces between 1944 and 1977, who have not already utilized VA housing loan benefits. For 10 years after this bill is passed, the Secretary of Veterans Affairs will approve the applications for legatees they determine as eligible. Eligible veterans served between 1944 and 1977, died before the end of the 10-year period after this bill is passed, has not used VA housing loan benefits in the past, and did not already submit a transfer application for this service. Decisions by the Secretary of Veterans Affairs are subject to Title 38, Section 5104C rules, meaning they can still be appealed. This bill also states that legatees will have all the same benefits for housing loans that veterans get, to include the amount, immediate use, and level of service from the VA. Once the legatees receive the benefit, they cannot transfer them again. The bill also ensures that a legatee still has the ability to become a veteran who can use their own VA loan benefits. Fees that are required to render certain services are not exempt and legatees may still have to pay them. The rest of this bill makes clerical changes. Primary Impact As a current member of the armed forces, I do know the impact military service can have on the family members as much as the service men and women. The ability to transfer these benefits to them provides a vast relief to the minds of the veterans who served in some of the major fights our country has participated in, including World War II and the Vietnam War. Part of any job are the incentives to perform and the benefits of being a part of that industry. War and fighting are no different. Benefits and pay make it possible for military members to serve as they do, especially with families, and having those benefits go to waste takes away from others' ability to use them as well. The government, and the Department of Defense especially, have a policy of reallocating money when it is not spent for its intended purpose, making budgets difficult to keep and track. If you don't use it, you lose it and these benefits and incentive pays are no different. Secondary Impact Government spending, regardless of what it goes to, causes inefficiencies in markets and generates inflationary reactions. If the government subsidizes housing or guarantees loans that are not normally assured, they will cause prices to rise in those areas. The 2008 housing bubble and great financial crisis that struck the world was caused by poorly managed loan practices backed with government money and support, and financial securities that were supported by those bad loans. Inflation is a necessary evil, but too much has tremendous negative impacts, as we see on a daily basis. We must be very careful with the programs we endorse.